The objective of the lesson is to help students compare two decimals to the thousandths place by using a place value chart. Students should understand that tenths, hundredths, and thousandths represent less than a whole number. Decimals are one way to represent fractions. Students should also understand the terms less than, greater than, and equal to, as well as the mathematical signs used to represent these terms. From previous grade levels, students should understand the base 10 system and feel comfortable using a place value chart. Fifth grade expands the place value chart to include tenths, hundreds, and thousandths. Using the place value chart, let's practice comparing two numbers with decimals. This is a great strategy for students to visually see how the numbers might differ from each other and then compare their values to find out which one is greater, lesser, or if they are equal to each other. Let's compare two numbers, 1,624 and 8 tenths, and 1,624 and 8 hundredths. Carefully look at the first number. Starting with the decimal and moving to the left, fill in the chart with each digit matching its placement correctly to the value. Looking back to the decimal, fill in the chart from the decimal and moving to the right as such. Filling in the chart starting at the decimal and moving left and then to the right really helps students to fill this out correctly. Let's do the same with the second number. Starting on the next row, find the decimal on the chart and in the number. Working to the left, fill in the correct digits for the value. Look back to the decimal and fill in the chart from the decimal to the right. Now we have written them into our chart, it's time to compare these two numbers. 1,624 and 8 tenths is the greater of the two numbers because it has the digit 8 in the tenths place. 1,624 and 8 hundredths is less because the digit 8 is in the hundredths place. So we would write 1,624 and 8 tenths is greater than 1,642 and 8 hundredths. As students practice using the chart, they will become more fluent in seeing the subtle differences in digits with decimals. Soon they may no longer need a chart like this. For example, they may choose to write the two digits stacked, making sure each digit, comma, and decimal is lined up precisely. Let's try a real-world example for comparing numbers with the following problem. Jimmy's dad was in the market for a newer car. He found two cars that he liked. The black car was priced at $15,391.89. The gray car was priced at $15,591.49. Which car was more expensive? First, you need to stack these two prices like this on our chart. When we look at the two numbers, the digits in the 10,000 and the 1,000 place are exactly the same. When we get to the hundreds place, we can see the differences. The 3 represents 300 and the 5 represents 500, so 300 is less than 500. The gray car is more expensive. When comparing two or more numbers, Students may write 25,742 and 6 tenths stacked over 25,742 and 678 thousandths. Students will notice that every digit is equal except when they reach the hundredths and the thousandths place of the second number. Knowing that adding zeros to the first number won't change the value of it, they can see 25,742 and 678 thousandths is the greater of the two numbers because these digits create a larger fraction closer to the value of 1. The objective for this lesson was to compare two decimals to the thousandths place using a place value chart. We met this objective by learning how to put decimals onto a place value chart by lining up the commas and decimals then comparing each digit's value to each other.